To me, one's identity should be based on what someone is proud of and what their interests are. I mean, yes, I'm a gay man, but that doesn't mean that's what I want to be known for. Oh, look, gay kazoom. I mean, no. I'm a gay man. I'm not ashamed of it, but I'm not proud of it either. I'm proud of some of the hurdles that the LGBT community has been able to overcome, but why should I be proud of my sexual orientation? It doesn't make any sense to me. It never has. And let me define what being gay means. Gay means a man who is attracted to male bodies instead of female bodies. It's an attraction. It's not a sexual act. Lesbian is also not a sexual act. Gay sex is gay sex. The word gay is not interchangeable with the term gay sex. You know, neither is the word homosexual. No, the word homosexual does not mean a sexual act. It is someone's sexual orientation. You know, who someone is attracted to, what sex someone is attracted to. And no, the word homosexuality doesn't mean gay sex either. If you want to say gay sex or homosexual sex, then just say it. You know, again, gay means a guy who is attracted to males. Some people just are confused at this for some reason. Either way, being gay is not what I wrap my whole identity around. You know, if the question comes up, or if there's some reason that I need to mention being gay in order to explain something in a discussion, then fine. But it's not that often that you hear or see me start an argument or start a sentence with, well, as a gay man, why should the fact that I'm gay be so important as far as how I relate with other people? Yes, as a gay man... <laughs> I'm not likely going to focus on a number of things that straight people focus on, or tend to focus on, like having biological children. So my focus isn't going to be the same as people who create biological families. It's probably not going to be focused on raising children to begin with. I mean, some do, and that's fine, and that's cool, but most don't. Responsible hedonism is most likely going to be what the focus is. Don't get me started about irresponsible hedonism. It's unacceptable. I mean, if, if it's something that you're just hurting yourself and it's not chancing hurting someone else, okay, whatever. But, you know, hedonism, I, I haven't been with anyone since 2014, so. But I do promote it, provided people are being responsible about it. Now, I was being irresponsibly hedonistic, uh, when it comes to myself anyway, when I did the whole gaining thing. I will regret that gaining thing for the rest of my life. It, it, it was just stupid. But just the notion of promoting hedonism over creating families, should I let that get in the way of being able to relate with other people? Should I look at it as a barrier? That doesn't seem right. People of all sorts of backgrounds and all sorts of demographics can share common interests. Shouldn't the interests be what's important and not the demographics? Or do we really live in upside-down world now? Is there still prejudice against gay people? Is there still homophobia? Is there still transphobia? Is there... Yes, of course. Of course. But with the way that I've seen a lot of LGBT activism lately, I don't know if they're going to make, you know, more acceptance happen anytime soon. I'm worried about the opposite. But, uh... Anyway, thanks for watching.